Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT this morning, flooding still a problem in many parts of Kentucky. And coming up, we'll have a look at the state of emergency ongoing in Franklin County. A man is recovering in the hospital this morning after a car hit him in Lexington. And blasting a new circle road in Lexington picks up once more. Another round of construction projects is underway. We're tracking the latest on the potential traffic impact. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you and welcome. It's so nice to have you with us on WKYT. Hope you had a nice weekend despite the cat's loss, right? <laughs> we all move on. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a tough game, but it was a hard fought battle. I mean, they did what they could. And in the end, it wasn't enough for Wisconsin, yeah. but, you know, tonight's the championship game. Maybe you'll watch. Yep. Yeah. What a season it was for yeah. the Wildcats. We're proud of them. Bill yeah. Bryan and Rebecca Smith with the latest news, and we want to check in with meteorologist Micah Harris, who is tracking weather. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, at least we don't have to stay up and watch the game, right? And we, at least we can go to bed and not have to worry about the Cats play. I guess that's a positive out of this. Unfortunately, they're just not playing. First alert defender, live radar, there is your shot. We have a couple of showers here and there. It's not much. A few sprinkles, a couple of rain showers down toward the southeast, and also system approaching us from the west. Heads up Frankfurt, heads up Midway. It's heading in your direction. It's not much, but it's there. 50 degrees in Frankfurt. Most of us will finish off there in the lower 50s by the time it's all said and done this morning. This afternoon, 68. And yesterday we had the 60s too, with a few rumbles of thunder, especially afternoon and off into the evening. But as we track off into the next few days, that's when temperatures will be on the increase, and so will that active weather. Now we'll take you into your latest forecast in just about 10 minutes. Thank you. We'll see you then, and we thank you. Many areas of Kentucky are still dealing with high water problems this morning, of course, from Friday's heavy rains. Still a problem. Franklin County is under a state of emergency this morning. Several roads are still closed. WKYT Sean Moody is live in Frankfurt with the latest on the floodwaters and the situation there. Sean, good, good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Governor Steve Bashir issued a statewide state of emergency, but they also issued one locally here in Franklin County because of that high water. There's been flooding all along the Kentucky River and the Elkhorn Creek here in Franklin County. There are still several roads closed, including this one right here at Big Eddy Road. The Kentucky River has crested at 36.1 feet. Emergency management officials expect the water to stay about that high for a little while before it starts going down again. Franklin County will be under a flood watch all day today and into the early hours of Tuesday morning. People who live around the Kentucky River and the Elkhorn Creek here in, in Franklin County said they've been watching the situation pretty closely. It came up quicker this time than I've ever seen it. Uh, we weren't expecting it to come up the way it did. You know, we normally watch it come up and we can gauge pretty much by how much rain has been in Jesmond County. There are still roads closed all over the county. This is just one of them here, Big Eddy Road uh, near uh, the Connector Road. There are several others closed throughout the county. For a full list of them, head over to our website, WKYT.com. In Franklin County, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. In Moorhead, one family is searching for a new place to stay after water and a mudslide damaged their home. The family managed to save some of their belongings, but many are still coated in mud. They say they have no idea where to put the items since their basement is still underwater. But the family is looking forward, and coming up at 5.30 in a report, we'll show you how the family is using the flood to try to move on to a new home. Well, in Harrison County, crews are keeping a close eye on the river. Cynthia police tell us the Licking River is threatening some homes in the area. One couple who've lived nearby for 13 years spent last night watching and worrying as the water inched closer to their home. And it kept creeping, creeping, creeping. Four o'clock this morning when I got up, it was three foot on this side of it. I was like, oh, here we go. It's going to be, it's going to keep coming. What a mess. Rising water also caused problems at the Cynthia Airport. We're told the runway and some taxiways flooded out. Well, new this morning, a Knox County man was arrested after leading police on a chase. State police say 49 year old Jack Rose took off after a trooper tried to make a traffic stop. The chase went right through Barberville. The troopers say Rose then purposely hit his cruiser and another trooper's cruiser who joined in to help stop the chase. Rose is charged with fleeing and evading, wanted endangerment, and more than a dozen. And other charges. New this morning, firefighters worked overnight to put out a fire that destroyed a home in Lincoln County. The chief of the Moreland Fire Department sent us a photo of the scene. Someone called to report that fire on Community Center Drive just before midnight. Firefighters finally put out the flames around one this morning. 
The chief says while they haven't determined how exactly the fire started, they do think it is suspicious. No one was hurt in the fire. A man is recovering this morning after being hit by a car. Lexington police tell us the man was crossing North Limestone after leaving a parking garage around 9 o'clock last night when a car hit him. Emergency crews rushed the man to the hospital with serious injuries. 7th Street between North Limestone and MLK was shut down for hours while police investigated all the circumstances. It is now back open. A man is recovering this morning after a wreck in Georgetown. Police tell us that a truck was traveling on Cherry Blossom Way yesterday morning when a driver on Timberland Way pulled out in front of it. And we're told the truck lost control and rolled onto its roof. The driver was partially ejected and then dragged down the road. Right now, we understand that driver is in stable condition. Search and rescue crews in southern Kentucky found a missing hiker safe and sound after a search that lasted several hours. The 20 year old went missing in Pulaski County around 2 sa Saturday. Crews searched the area overnight, later found him near the Laurel County line yesterday afternoon. Crews say he was safe and alert when they found him. The time right now is 5.06 on WKYT. And starting today, some construction projects are set to start on sections of New Circle Road. Blasting will pick up again, and crews will be demolishing a bridge over Alexandria Drive. WKYT's Mark Barber is live on New Circle with a look at how the projects will impact drivers today. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Bill, and everything you just mentioned means it may take you a little longer to get to work today. If your drive takes you here on New Circle Road between Frankfurt Pike and Old Frankfurt Pike, or excuse me, Versailles Road and Old Frankfurt Pike, then you can't expect delays because road crews say traffic will be stopped for 15 minutes at a time in some places. Now that's because work is getting started on the demolition of Alexandria Road Bridge at New Circle. Crews say you will be stopped if you are on Alexandria Road. Now construction there will start at 9 a.m. and will last through 3 p.m. until April. 19th. Other delays are expected as construction continues on the new circle widening project. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday, crews will start blasting for the southbound outer loop of New Circle Road between Versailles Road and Old Frankfurt Pike. Now, traffic could really start to back up there because drivers will also be stopped for 15 minutes at a time at that point. Now, there will also be road construction tonight from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. as crews pour the bridge deck for the Old Frankfurt Pike Bridge. Drivers there can expect the on ramp from Old Frankfurt to the outer loop of, of southbound New Circle to be closed. Now, the speed limit here has been reduced to 45 miles per hour, so you may want to start planning a few extra minutes into your drive today. We're looking for some alternate routes because traffic will be moving either very slowly or it will be stopped. Live here in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Any patience. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, 15 minutes at a time, that really yep. can set you back, so be aware of that. Let's check live drive traffic to see what's happening in other spots of town. Broadway and High Street, and we do have a traffic alert to pass on this morning. This is basically in Madison County. US 25 is closed to traffic in both directions between Kentucky 627, that's Boonesboro Road, and Jacks Creek Pike due to a roadway collapse. And traffic is detoured to either I 75 or Colonel Road until further notice. And this is just one of the issues in Madison County because they're also doing that resurfacing work. There's a lane restriction. Mm -hmm. Traffic really, really backed up on Friday. Uh, and it is doing that uh, during weekdays right now, uh, especially southbound as people are uh, as mo moving their way through there. And you were saying on the north side as well, there's a little bit of that's action. That's right, that's right. But the south was a little worse at okay. least Friday. Let's just hope yeah. it. Uh, you had a personal experience today. with Did that. Did you right? uh, on that day? That's right. WKYT this morning is just getting started, and it's good to have you with us. Call him Mr. Moneybags. This guy found a bag of cash that an armored car dropped along the highway. We'll tell you what he did with it in just a few. A couple of showers out there this morning, but let me tell you, as we head throughout the next several days, that's not only the rain picking up, a thunderstorm action, too. We'll go over your latest forecast to show you those details coming up.